All right, welcome to Painting with Allie, and today we are going to be doing a rainbow dolphin. We are back, and today I am going to do a painting um, for a little girl's birthday, and I'm going to show you how to paint a dolphin in the ocean, jumping out of the ocean with a rainbow in the background. Okay, so first of all, we're going to find the horizon line, which again is the line that separates the sky from, in this case, it's going to be from the water. So I'm going to grab some blue, and anywhere that's not perfectly center. So I'm going to give myself a little bit more sky. So if this is my center point, I'm going to go just a little bit further down, and with that blue, draw a nice straight-ish line that's about the same on either side. Then I'm going to go above that horizon line, and I'm going to use blues, so a little bit of turquoise, a little bit of white, and any direction at all, but a nice big blue sky. With a little bit of purple added in. So I'm going to start with the blues, not too much paint using my wrist nice and smoothly. I'm trying to get rid of all the graininess of the canvas. Try to crisscross those lines so you don't have a perfect straight line or it doesn't look like grass is growing up in the sky. This will start to allow us to have some stormy sky clouds or clouds in the sky. The goal of this stage is to get a ton of paint on the canvas. And if there's little chunky pieces of white, then it'll look a little bit like clouds. Now as I get closer to that horizon line, I'm going to dip into a little bit more purple. And I'm going to go close to that line first. To keep that nice straight line for the horizon line. And then I'm going to go above that line about halfway up to start to mix that purple into that blue area we already have. Still haven't rinsed out my paintbrush. And any direction is fine. Okay. Okay, we're back. Now we're going to move into the water. Same colors that we used up here, but our brush stroke is going to change and we're going to add in a few colors. So we're going to go side to side with the brush. I still have my big brush. I still have not rinsed it out because I had, like the colors that are in the brush from using them in the sky. So I'm going to start again with the purple. Remember everything in the sky is a reflection, but I'm going to swivel that brush to the side and start to, start to mimic that nice flowy line that you see in water. So nothing too wild. If it's too wild, it's gonna look like a huge storm at sea. And we want it to be pretty calm so we can have a dolphin jumping out all the way to the side. Now I'm gonna move in and I'm gonna slightly overlap with some blue. So I have a darker blue. I'm gonna go right on top of that purple. And we're still really just working on getting a lot of paint on the canvas. But you can see, because purple is made with blue, so blue and red make purple, you can see that it blends really well together. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit darker blue, still same paintbrush, unwashed. Then I'm bringing that blue just a little further down. And then I'm gonna add a lighter blue. So this is more of that teal blue that I had up at the top. If it feels like the paint is wiping away um, off of the canvas, wait for a second and let it dry. So I'm working on the different, the texture of the, or excuse me, the direction of those lines. Okay, I'm gonna bring that teal, again overlapped on top of that dark blue. And all the way down to the bottom.
Okay, making sure I cover all of those sides. Before then, I can really pay attention to that fun, flowy texture of water. Go all the way up to that horizon line. Taking a look at my edges, making sure all those brushes are moving in the right direction. Okay, then we're gonna let it dry for a second. Okay, now we are gonna take our large brush and let it rest in your water cup. And you're gonna grab your small brush. And we're gonna do another little layer on the water here um, for some highlights. So if you don't have enough paint on there, go ahead and do exactly what we did in the last step another time. And if you do, then we're gonna do a few lighter colors. So I'm gonna grab that light pink and I'm gonna just put in smaller ripples right on top of the purple. A little bit of white. And if it feels like it's hard to get that paint to move really smoothly, grab just a drop of water. And that will help allow that paint to kind of move. It starts to run. Just catch it with your paintbrush and keep adding just a little bit more highlight. I'm gonna get a little bit of that dark purple in there. So always working light next to dark, as much contrast as we can get. And I'm gonna focus my highlights in a triangle. So if you notice, they are wider, the highlights are wider here at the horizon line, at the top, and then they slowly get smaller. They get smaller the further down the page. Now we're gonna block in some shapes to get the basic shapes for our dolphin. So that slide was just telling you to look for triangles, ovals, teardrop shapes, and use it as a little puzzle piece like I have here to construct your dolphin. Then add a few little half circles down at the tail so you have a little splash in the water and fill your dolphin in with black paint. So it should be nice and solid, paying attention to the edges so that we don't have any blurry smudges. Then take the black paint with a little bit of dark blue and go back over that horizon line, that line that separates the water from the sky so we have a nice solid horizon line. Going back into the water, making sure my highlights are nice and rounded and wiggly going side to side, just like the texture of the water. All right, we're going to add a little bit of splash. So grab some white paint towards the tail. Make sure that the black is dry and do a few little lines that jump up at a diagonal. Add some yellow paint for that moon. A little circle up in the sky or the sunshine, either way. You'd like to look at it and then a little bit of yellow in the water as well. Now we're going to move into an orange ring around the sunshine, adding a little bit of orange to the water as well, keeping my brush going side to side. Then I am going to start to build a rainbow. So if you notice, there is a cloud up in the right hand side of the painting that I did first as the first round. And then I went all of the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, all the way down into that horizon. All right, now we're going to do another coat of black on the dolphin. Now, obviously, you will have to pause this in between different stages, but make sure we have a nice solid coat of black and then a second coat of white in the cloud as well. Now, this coat of white is going to be great because we can do a little overlapping on top of that rainbow. So make sure that the cloud looks like it is on top of the rainbow and not the little up next to it. Now we're going to move into the sunshine and we're going to start to work on the rays of the sun. So I'm taking warm color paint yellow, orange, and red, and squiggling that out to the outside. And I'm also grabbing those same colors to add highlights in that same kind of triangular fashion, wider at the top, smaller at the bottom, around our dolphin. So we have some highlights on top of the water, making sure that those lines are nice and squiggly, like I said before, and that they go right to left. All right, that's it. Uh, you can watch it again and pause as needed. Thanks for painting.